What up, loungers? Welcome back. Here we go. Uh, as you can tell, sick again. It seems like every time I want to record, I get sick. Whatever. It is what it is. Uh, today's episode is going to be a little bit different. Uh, it is, but it isn't because I want to go over some things that I've been over in the past, but I want to go into a little more detail for you. And basically what it is, you can tell by the title, I'm sure, uh, it's time for a side gig, right? The way inflation is going, uh, it's definitely tough times for a lot of people, especially EMS. We don't make a whole lot of money. And so I wanted to go over a couple things, gone over them in the past, more, again, more detail though. Uh, but here's the thing. Uh, it, it's tough times. It's time to get a side gig, right? Uh, I did a little bit, uh, about it before, like I said, but I want to go over some of this and in no way is this financial advice. I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm giving you some tips and tricks. That's really what this is for. Um, yeah, take it as you want. Again, I believe in him. I, I have one, which really turned from a side gig to a full-time gig. And again, not advice. I want to spark an idea for you. So I think there's two main reasons why people don't start a business. And number one is it's too costly to start. And number two, it's just they're afraid to fail and they don't want to lose their investment. So I came up with a few that don't require a lot of investment. It keeps you relatively safe. You're not going to lose money should you quote unquote fail. Uh, but let's look into them, right? Too costly. Depends on what you're starting. Obviously, if you're going to open up a 7-Eleven, you're going to open up a, a coffee shop, something like that. That's a huge investment. We're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, it, but what I wanted to come up with was some home-based businesses that you could start for a little bit of an investment so that you're relatively safe with what you're doing. So I'm going to go through my business a little bit, not a lot, because it just I've been over it before. And... Uh, I'm sure you're tired of hearing about it. So, but I, I use it as a reference point so that you can understand where I'm coming from and know that I'm not making these numbers up. These are legitimate numbers. Okay. So home-based business where I live in my city and I've seen in a few cities, they're all about the same. They run about 150 bucks to initially buy. Cool part is on your taxes, you get to write that off. And then my renewal every year runs me about $54. And I think this last year was $54. And so... Um, I, again, you, you know, to start off, you don't necessarily have to have a business license. You don't necessarily have to have a, a tax ID number, things like that. Because again, if, if I'm correct, and this is what my tax, uh, person told me was that it's considered a hobby at first. And so to get started, you don't need it. You can start doing these things without a business license off the bat, but I do highly recommend it, especially for certain ones, because it offers you tax benefits, it offers you cost breaks and things like that on certain supplies, on, depending on what you're doing, right? So, a couple ideas that I came up with, and again, talked about some of them before, lawn care, mow and blow, right? Uh, I, look, my lawn guy charges me $85 a month, he comes once a week, he spends about mm, half an hour, Okay. But let's go. So what I ended up doing, I looked up on OfferUp and I looked up lawnmowers. I found a working lawnmower, take that as you will, for 10 bucks. $10 lawnmower. Uh, I found a Edger, 10 bucks. They both said they were working. Okay. So hang tight, bear with me on this. And then a leaf blower for 40, bu 40 bucks. You're talking $60. You don't even need the leaf blower. You could sweep. But let's say you want to make it quick because we're trying to be efficient with our business, right? 60 bucks. If you don't have 60 bucks, take $10 out of this paycheck, put it aside. $10 out of the next one, $10 out of the next one, et cetera, et cetera, right? Uh, and you're, if you have this stuff now, if you have a lawnmower at your house, you've already, you're one up on the game. If you have an edger, if you have a leaf blower, you're already up. Borrow one if you have to, right? You could borrow all this stuff from a neighbor, a friend, or whomever, and it's a free startup. Now, you could go out and get, well, let, let's do this. Let's back up for a minute because I, I was talking to my guy who, who mows my lawn. He tells me he has 140 houses approximately. And let's just say he charges $50 on average. Now, he charges me $85 to do my front backyard, mow, blow, edge, and he's done. Now, I have a fairly decent yard. I have about 9,000 square foot lot, a little over than that. And he's out here once a week, 30 minutes, okay? But let's just say he charges 50 on average for every home he has, 140 houses, that's $7,000 a month. He makes seven grand a month mowing lawns. 
Is it hard work? Yeah. Is it really difficult? Not really. I mean, self-propelled lawnmower, you're walking, right? Yeah, you might be in the heat. You might be in the cold. We, we do that now, right? In EMS, we're doing it now. In fire department, we're doing that now, okay? But he works for himself. Now, if he does six houses a day, 22 days out of the year, because you take Monday through Friday, 4.33 weeks in a month, you get 22 days that you can work. He's only doing six houses a day. And if he works 30 minutes at each one, okay? But let's, for kicks and giggles, let's just say it's a 45 minute, but we'll get into that in a second. Now, will it take time to get to 140 houses? Absolutely. It takes time, right? Uh, nonetheless, you should be able to get five or six houses within, I would say, a month. I mean, it, pick your street alone where you live. Now, granted, this doesn't work if you live on a house, in a neighborhood with one house for a neighbor or what have you, but your typical housing con or housing tract, you're going to have multiple houses. You could probably get five or six in a month if you applied yourself. Uh, okay. So, um, it shouldn't take you more than 45 minutes. Mow, blow an edge. Really? I mean, push the lawnmower, self-propel, boom, done. Quick edge, quick blow, you're done. You should be able to get in and out. So I don't think five or six is really a, a stretch. I think that would be very simple. And let's say you get five house, five houses, right? Um, but... <sighs> I'm jumping ahead of myself, but how do you beat out your competition? Well, the quickest way and the easiest way is to dump your prices, right? Again, if you had this stuff, you didn't invest any money, you can charge whatever you want. You can charge 10 bucks. It doesn't matter, right? Uh, but you ask the homeowner, hey, how much are you paying for your, your lawn care? And then you discount it, 10, 15 bucks. Say, hey, I'll give you, you know, they say, hey, I'm paying 100 bucks. Okay, well, what if I did it for 75 for the first three months? If you're happy, you keep me. And at that point, uh, you know, you raise it to 85 or whatever and tell them that, hey, I'll be cheaper than what you've already got. And let me show you my quality and leave it at that. I guarantee you they'll switch, especially right now. Right now is the time to kind of go in and I hate to say it, but you're going to steal some business. That's business right? That's what we do as business owners. If you have to try to steal somebody, you got to try to undercut them or find out a way to be a step above or a level above and be able to, to earn that client's business. Uh, in, in, you know, the worst part is, let's say you only get them for three months. Great. You had three months worth of income, extra income that you didn't have before. But let's say you get those five houses, $50 a piece. I'm going to cut it down way low. So we're very, very conservative on our numbers. But let's say you get five houses at 50 bucks. That's $250 a month extra in your pocket. And even if you were an hour at the house, you're talking 21.65 hours extra per month. That's less than one 24-hour EMS or fire shift. And it's 250 bucks cash in your pocket. Right? It's low hourly. I get it. Right? You're not making a lot hourly, but we're not looking at the hourly right now. We're looking at the extra income that's coming in. Tough times require tough decisions. We got to do some things we don't want to do. But it, you know, it definitely pays if the faster you work. But if you were to do five houses and you were only charging $85 or you were charging 85, those five houses, you're now making 425 a month extra off of five houses. You're working 19.6 hours extra per month, right? Now, knock it back. Now, that's at an hour a piece. But if you knocked it down to 45 minutes each, you're working 16.23 hours a month. Five houses, 85 bucks, you make 26.19 an hour. Not a lot of EMTs make that. And all you got to do is mow a lawn. Mowing lawns is not tough. It's not hard work. It sucks you in the elements. We are now. Granted, we're in our station or we're in our box. I get that. But there's times where we got to be out. You're on scene, MBA. You're going to be out there for an hour or so. Whatever, it is what it is. So what? It's an hour, half an hour, right? Mowing lawns, less than four hours a week and a total initial cost of 60 bucks. It's less if you already had the stuff, right? But hear me out, borrow the equipment. Now, let's say you get those five houses. Let's say you charged 85, you got your business, you got 450 bucks. Now you go buy a good lawnmower. Go buy a good one, a brand new one if you want. Doesn't matter. 
buy a, a $200 lawnmower, $300 lawnmower. You still have extra cash left over. You could go buy a new edger. You could buy the new leaf blower, whatever. But after one month, you're already in the black, right? If you had an initial investment of 60 bucks and all you had to do, and now you've got 450, you're in the black right off the bat. One customer puts you in the black. How is that a bad business plan? You haven't lost any money. You can't lose money. If you have this equipment, you can't lose money. You can't fail. Your business literally cannot fail. Just reinvest that first bit of money. Two months. Within two months, man, you could have a super high-end lawnmower, high-end edger, and a high-end leaf blower. And after that, you're taking free, you're taking paychecks from your own business. Then you go and get your business license. Go get your business insurance. Simple stuff. And the funny thing is, is when you have a business license, people give you discounts, right? Uh, now, granted, obviously, you're not buying stuff over and over again, but let's say you were buying weed and feed for your customers, right? You offered that service. Hey, an extra 20 bucks every six months, uh, I'll weed and feed your lawn. You can buy factory direct now with a business license because you're considered a, it's a wholesale license technically, right? You're a wholesale customer, which means you get wholesale prices. And so that $20 bag of, feed, of weed and feed maybe get cut down to 15, 13, who knows? And you don't even have to pay taxes on that stuff because you're not reselling it. You're using it for your business. So you're saving yourself money by doing the business license route. Plus you get to write it off at the end of the year. It's simple stuff, right? Um, and I know I said business insurance and somebody out there is going, dude, I can't afford business insurance. I pay $35 a month. That's it. I pay 30. It's actually less because I pay three fifty a year for my business. It's a million dollar liability policy. I don't know. I've never talked to anybody. I've never had to get anybody on the phone. It's literally all done online. It's three fifty a month, million dollar policy. If I want to bump it to 2 million, I pay like an extra I think it's 10 bucks a month, maybe, maybe five. I don't know. It's cheap. So don't let that type of stuff deter you. Again, if you get two months worth of business in two months, you have brand new equipment and you have business license and you have business insurance. It's that simple. Don't stop letting people tell you that it's hard to do hard to start a business. It's very dangerous that it's not. If you build yourself a, a <coughs> if you build yourself a good safety net, like I'm telling you, you have nothing to lose. Literally, it, again, let's say you didn't get any clients. Worst case, you have a new lawnmower, edger, and blower for your own house. You've dropped $60 total. You don't buy the new equipment until you have the money to pay cash in hand. That's it. It's simple. It's very, very simple. Uh, I don't recommend this, but if you get your business license and you open a business bank account, they almost always will give you a business credit card right off the bat. They did it with mine. Uh, I opened two or three different business accounts. And every time they've offered me a, a business line credit card, that was, I think, 75 to $8,500 every single time, right? And no credit checks. No, here you go. You want a card? Yep. Here you go. If you really needed more equipment, you could go that route. I don't recommend it because my thing is, is I want to pay cash for everything I have. That way I'm in the black right away. I have nothing holding me back. I have no dangers. I'm not in danger of not getting business, but I have $7,000 on a credit card. I don't want to do that, right? Just reinvest. Use your own money to reinvest into your own thing. So another cheap one, I've talked about this before, is painting addresses on curbs. I had a, a, two kids come by my house one day and like, hey, man, we want to know if we can redo the, the address on the curb. It's 25 bucks. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I, I don't have the time. I don't have the desire to do it. And honestly, I really don't want to. So uh, they came out, they charged 25 bucks, took them 15, 20 minutes between the two guys. They were sharing it, but you don't have to. One would be painting one and one would go to a door, you know, the next neighbor and try and get theirs business. But took them 15, 20 minutes, going door to door, get a few houses. Four houses makes you a hundred bucks. Uh, that's a no brainer. Four houses, hundred bucks. Take you an hour, hour and 20 minutes. Tops, tops. If you can do four houses in an hour, that's a hundred dollars an hour. You're not making that as an EMT. And if you are, you're working multiple double times. You're, you're, you're not going to make that kind of money. Right. And all they're doing is painting addresses on curbs. Now, what do you need to paint addresses on curbs? I'm glad you asked. Let me go over that real quick. Uh, I, I looked it up, went to home Depot, a stencil pack, 
for address numbers, $8.45. Spray paint, less than $7 a can. I think it was six fifty dollars on average for a can or six sixty dollars for a can. You only need two colors, black and white. That's all you need. There's nothing special. I didn't pay anything to have any designs done on my, on my address or on my curve. That was it. And then you need maybe some tape. Uh, what was that? I looked it up. The tape was seven bucks a roll. No. Yeah. $7 for a roll of tape. You're going to get multiple houses out of that roll. And then you got a, a masking paper. So you don't overspray four bucks for a huge roll. Those you could probably get between the two cans, the tape and the paper. I would imagine you could probably get somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 houses, at least, at least at 25 bucks a piece, 250 bucks. Your total investment was $34 to get started. Two houses you've already broken even and made a profit with two houses. That's it. It's that simple. If 25 is too much, how about 20? It doesn't matter. It's pure profit. Again, you've spent $34. By the, two houses, 15 bucks, $30. You're $4 shy of losing money or making money. That's it. I guarantee you, you can find two houses for $15 a piece. Guaranteed on your street alone. Again, if you're in a typical housing community. It's that simple. How about house cleaning? You probably already have all the stuff to do it. Why not do it? Uh, let's see. I, I didn't want to price out all the cleaning supplies because that's up to you on what you like to use and things like that or what your customers want to use. But let's just go with some simple Windex bleach, rags, and sponges, toilet bowl cleaner, things like that. But let's just say you need is a little bit of extra. You already have that stuff, right? You probably already have that stuff. Use your own. Again, we're, we're just doing it to get our foot in the door right? We're not going to continue to use our own product here. We're going to get more. We're, but how are you going to do it? Realistically, what do you need to start a house cleaning business? Nothing if you have everything. But let's just say it's 25 bucks. You don't think you could get stuff to clean a house for 25 bucks? Go to the Dollar Tree. Dollar General. Go, go to a 99 cent store. You can buy all your cleaning products there for a dollar, dollar 25 a piece, enough to clean one house, right? So you spend 25 bucks. My housekeeper charges me $115 every time she shows up. If I spend 25 and I make 115, you do the math. There's no investment in that if you have all the cleaning supplies, which most of us do. How are you going to lose money on that? Do you want to clean houses? No, but do you want to grow food for the week? Absolutely. Do you want an extra $115 from one house? It's cash money in your hand. Or transfer to your bank now with Zelle and everything else, right? But you got money right off the bat. You didn't do anything but clean a house. You got you spend two hours, you make $115. And my housekeeper is cheap. Trust me, they're a lot more expensive than that. I know people pay 10 times what I pay probably to have their house clean. I got 1,500 square feet. I pay 115 a month. That's on the low end. 10 houses, do the math. 20 hours worth of work. It, it, you're making more than you are on a box. I don't know. Uh, is it a glorious job? No. Is lawn mowing glorious? No, it's not. Who cares? Who cares if it's a glorious job or not? I had a friend years ago, he owned his own business doing rims, and tires, window tint, things like that. And during 2008, when the recession hit, he lost his business, went to work at Walmart and he was installing tires at Walmart. And I ran into him and I was like, Hey man, how's business? He's like, Oh, I went down. I'm like, where are you working? He's like, Oh, I had a little shop out in on, is this city or whatever. And I'm like, Oh, well, what shop? And he's like, it's Walmart. I'm like, what? He's like, it's Walmart. He didn't want to tell me where he worked. Dude, I don't care. You have a job. It's paying your bills. Who cares? And to be honest with you, I have more respect for a business owner. Even if you're cleaning houses, who cares? At least you're working for yourself. I don't know. I, I, no, they're not glorious jobs, but they make good money because it's a service. You don't have a lot of cost. You don't have overhead. But it really, it just comes down to how hard do you really want to work? Again, I got a guy mowing lawns. Makes My house, my lawn guy probably makes about 12 grand a month. Cash. Is he reporting it? Probably not. 
I, nothing I can do about it, but he's probably not reporting it. If he does some, but not all, I guarantee it. It's cash money. But why are you afraid to fail with this? How are you going to be afraid to fail with those businesses? You're not even, my most expensive business right now is $60 to get started if I didn't have anything. One house cleaning, you're in the positive. You're in the black right off the bat. One house. I guarantee you ask a family member, hey, Dia, can I clean your house for 100 bucks? Yeah, okay. Simple. If you're doing it at the station now for free or your hourly rate, what are you making? 20 bucks an hour so you get paid 40 bucks, spend two hours cleaning the station? Or you can go to your Dia's house and clean that for 50, 60 bucks an hour. Which one do you want to do? And who's cleaner? Probably your Dia. Your Dia is probably cleaner than any of the guys and gals at your EMS or fire station. I'd rather be cleaning her house. Again, you don't necessarily have to have business license for this type of stuff. It helps you, though, because if you're going to start buying chemicals and things and quality and name brand, you're going to want to do that, right? Um, it, there's really no way to fail with low investments. That's all I'm trying to get at. You're not, you're not really losing anything because you're not really spending any money to get into it. So... Uh, you know, my buddy started a detailing business. Same thing. He started that. He already had all the supplies because he likes detailing his own car. And then when he got his business license, he's able to buy all those products at a discounted rate because now it's a wholesale account. It's pure profit. He spent, I, I can guarantee he didn't spend a hundred bucks first time he bought products. He spent a hundred bucks total. But you, you know, with detailing, it's going to be a little more because you got to buy the, the, the equipment and things like that. But if it's something you love and it's something you already have, then you're not really wasting any money. But you can't be afraid to fail. Not with something like that. This is just, this is gravy. That's all it is right away. So, I mean, and what do you consider it failed? Again, spend 25 bucks on cleaning supplies, one house, you're in the black. Is it a failed business? It's not. You made profit. Most businesses fail in two years. In the first two years, they fail because they can't turn a profit. I'm literally giving you the blueprint of how to make a business start with zero uh, failure. You can't fail. You can't. Because you instantly start turning a profit right away within one or two customers. That's unheard of. Because that's what people tell you is you can't do it. Yes, you can. I just laid it out for you. Go knock on your neighbor's door. Hey, you want me to clean your house? I can clean your house. I'm only charging 100 bucks. Mop the floors, vacuum, clean the bathrooms, clean the kitchen. Done. Two hours tops. 100 bucks, 50 bucks an hour. Walk away, cash money. You're in the black. You made $75. How is that a failed business? You can't. If you want to be stupid like me, you start a meme page, right? Go on Fiverr, pay somebody five, 10 bucks, draw you a logo, make a cool little character. You start selling some merchandise. Problem is it takes time to build your audience, right? Get your followers going. Then you got to get stuff made. You got to find out where to get it made. Then you got to find out how to sell it. Well, then you got to do a Shopify account. You got to figure out how to work Shopify. It's 35 bucks a month. You have to go and ship items. And now you're in charge of, you know, and and you're in charge of what you make, but that's a lot of work. I I thought it would be simple. And that's why, honestly, that's why I shut my Shopify down. I was like, eh, I don't have time to go to the mailbox. I don't have time to ship all this stuff out. It's just... Honestly, is it hard work? No, it's tedious work and it's time consuming and I don't have the time for that type of stuff. That's it. Um, You know, and then you got to deal with complaints and you got to deal with shipping and you got to deal with, you know, my product didn't arrive or my product arrived damaged or, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But it it it's just way more work than I was willing to put into it. I know you're thinking really a meme page and selling merchandise is more work than mowing a lawn. To me, it is because to me, it's like, oh, got to go to John's house, mow his lawn. Throw the stuff in the truck, drive around the corner, unload it, push a lawnmower around, get some exercise, throw it in the back of the truck, drive home, done. More than having to go online, get designers, you know, order my stickers to be made or my keychains to be made and then wait for them to be shipped, get them to me, got to package them, print out all the labels. It's just more work for me. But can it be done? Absolutely. But I think your investment's going to be a little more on a meme page. I, I Trust me, I've priced it. it it's more. And yeah, you could do it at a discounted rate, but you're not going to get the results you want. And you're going to probably end up spending, even if you say 60 bucks, same as the, um, what was it? My first business that I thought of doing, you know, you're going to be your lawnmower business. I I think you're going to be further into it money wise than you wouldn't be. So to me, it's just not worth it. Right. Um, But again, I'd rather just do that. I would rather go 
paint curbs or mow lawns, to be honest. Simple money. It's easy money. And it's cash. It's in your hand right away. You can tell people, hey, I just ask that you pay me when I'm done. Or, hey, can you pay me right away? I'm, I'm trying to earn some money. There's nothing wrong with that. And I know a lot of people are probably thinking, you know, yeah, but people are going to start cutting back on their housekeeping. People are going to start cutting back on their lawn care because they're going to start doing it themselves because times are tough. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to stop having my lawn mowed. I'm not going to stop having my house cleaned. It's too, it's too cheap of a service that I don't want to do that I would rather pay somebody else. That's it. That's it. Anyways, I know this is different than my normal podcast, but I just want to help you guys out. That's really what it comes down to. I love seeing people succeed. I hate seeing people fail. And I'm trying to give you a simple, easy blueprint to make money and to make extra cash on the side. Let me know what you think. If you're watching this on YouTube, drop a comment below and tell me what you think about my ideas. Drop an idea if you have one for somebody else. And just kind of may, maybe, you know, say, hey, I do X, Y, Z, and it only cost me, you know, this amount to get started. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. And other than that, appreciate you guys. Keep lounging. We'll see you next time.